There's that man again. Well, everyone, the fall season is closely coming down upon us. Um, you can kind of tell with the leaves a little bit. Uh, you'll tell more, of course, with the weather. But right now, you wouldn't be able to tell anything. It's about 94, 95 degrees outside. But um, as we get into the uh, fall season, of course, it get a little bit more chilly. And uh, I want to talk to you about a couple of fragrances that will actually help you transition from fall into winter. Stay tuned. I'll talk to you about them. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Teddy Files. I'm your resident sommelier, Mr. Dearest Teddy, and today I want to talk to you guys about fall fragrances, fragrances that are a little bit heavier than what we've been wearing in the summertime, um, but not so heavy to where it falls directly into winter. It's that in-between type of thing, and I have one up here right now that I was actually getting ready to wear to a boat party. A friend of mine, her birthday was uh, last weekend and it got slightly edged out by the fragrance that i end up wearing which will also be in this video but it almost won it almost won and that would be majuri's gold noir get the focus here so this fragrance is was perfect for that night it was a nice cool night and not to mention we were on the water so it's a somewhat sweet and very earthy fragrance. It's extremely earthy. It's a vanillic, ambery type fragrance that is perfect for date night, perfect for cool nights. Um, it, I, I really had to struggle. I struggled a lot trying to figure out whether or not I was going to wear this one or the one that I absolutely ended up wearing. I mean, in this one, you have cinnamon, hill, thorpe, white woods, amber, plum, leather, vanilla, tonka bean, and patchouli. So you hear the sweet notes, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overly powdery from the Tonka bean. It has this, it, it, it has a beautiful balance of sweet earthiness with a slight bit of a, 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 a holdover with the Hillthorpe that kind of brings in that, that, that floral uh, note that, that you will find when you smell this fragrance. It is a beautiful fragrance. It's perfect for a date night. It is perfect for the winter time, for fall, uh, going to a party like a boat party like I went to. Um, not, say, not saying it would be bad for the office. Um, probably not the most ideal office fragrance, but you can pull it off. You know, if, if you um, if you're especially if you're known as the fragrance guy, which I am known as the fragrance guy in my office, people expect me to wear something different all the time. So you can pull it off. It's not overly offensive. It's not offensive at all, actually. Uh, it has a pretty good sillage to it. Um, when I wore it before, when I did like a, you know, just kind of testing it out, it lasted me about a good eight hours. It got, it got more close to being a skin scent at about the seven hour mark. So seven to eight hours is about the longevity in which I got out of it. Pretty good sillage. Mrs. Grizzly says she could continue to continuously smell it every time I walk past her. So it's actually a perfectly good choice. So, um, if I were you. I'll go out there and give this one a shot. You'll see it. It shows up on discounters all the time. Um, don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I've heard a few, but not a lot. But these guys are worth mentioning, and that would be Majoria. Gold Noir. So the next fragrance I have up, uh, I bought it in a blind buy, a complete blind buy, when I went to Burlington. And um, I didn't expect a whole lot out of it. You know, sometimes I'll buy things and they seem interesting the bottle at least especially seemed interesting um note to a lot of people if you're not really into fragrances please do not buy the fragrances for what the bottle looks like i'm just crazy like that but what i'll have to say is i was completely and totally pleasantly surprised by the fragrance that i purchased and that would be tonino's lamborghini 
millennials. So, woody, aromatic, spicy, somewhat old school, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous scent. This scent right here was, I was not expecting this at all. It takes you back to almost like a a barbershop scent with uh like it almost like it has a hint of nutmeg it smells like it has a hint of nutmeg um but what that i what what that is that you're smelling is clove so you have rhubarb pink pepper grapefruit incense cloves amber leather violet vetiver cedar cashmere wood and patchouli and you catch all of that but once again it's another earthy earthy fragrance um has a little bit of vibrance in it just a little bit uh, probably from the rhubarb and the grapefruit but you get that smokiness that 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 grown man just barbershop type of feel to it it is in it is actually a really good scent now i'm not sure how long it lasts on skin uh just yet i haven't given it a full wearing but from what i've smelled in the air this is absolutely gorgeous man this, I, I was so shocked at this fragrance so shocked now i do have um the other one that smells like abercrombie and fisher that actually lasted me an entire day so i'm um, i have high hopes for this one but this fragrance is well I, what i'll say is this it has a bit of an old school feel to it so if you're not into those types of scent profiles and things of that nature uh it's probably not going to be a safe block buy for you but if you have want that more woody masculine uh heavy clove vetiver type of thing this is absolutely phenomenal this is one that you will absolutely enjoy i enjoy it i enjoy every time i smell it i found myself every single time the day that i bought it once i smelled it on paper uh smelled it in the air i kept pulling it out of the box smelling the atomizer i was like man i i really want to wear this i actually almost wore this to the boat party as well but of course, we already know I'm going to talk about the one that beat out the other two. But this is another really good choice. I smell it in the air and it just gives me that that old school Great Gatsby type of thought process, that 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 type of feel. It, it is a really good scent. You can't go wrong with this one, man. Um, this is Tonino's Lamborghini Millennials. So the next fragrance that I have coming up is a warm, woody, spicy and very earthy fragrance and that would be mercedes benz de parfum so this mercedes benz took the the original mercedes benz and injected it with a few steroids because this one here is uh this is manly as hell man this is a man's man's fragrance uh, it smells somewhat leathery, but it doesn't have any leather at all in the notes. I mean, you got pink pepper, bergamot, you got violet, saffron, you have galbanum, oud wood, amber, vetiver, and patchouli. All to give this really rich, but not not thick fragrance. It, it is, it's still somewhat airy. It's a bit creamy. Of course, from the patchouli, the patchouli is always the beautiful balance at the end of the fragrance. But this fragrance is 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 so much more than the original. The original is absolutely wonderful, but the original is a little bit more airy, a little bit more fresh, whereas this one is a lot darker, a lot richer, and absolutely a lot smoother as well. And that's saying something because the original is has a, a great deal of smoothness to it as well. Now, this takes you much like the original smells a little bit um a little bit like um uh what is the fragrance that i'm thinking of my goodness sometimes i can draw a blank dior's fahrenheit so it take it puts you in the mind of dior's fahrenheit but this actually pushes you past that this is so much more uh so much there's so much more depth to this fragrance this is definitely worth a purchase worth a buy worth a try out if you can try it out somewhere uh see if you can get your hands on it this is a pretty damn good fragrance man i i was very happy when i purchased it when i wore it 
uh, last fall. Excellent fragrance, very underrated. A lot of people aren't talking about it, but they definitely should. It's almost criminal how people aren't talking about Mercedes Benz. Le Parfum. The gold bottle. The next fragrance coming up is warm, spicy, woody, and sweet, and fresh at the same time. And that would be Coach Platinum. So, this fragrance, wanted it for quite a while. Um, I love the original Coach. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. It's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, I actually love Coach Blue. A lot of people trash on Coach Blue. I, I actually love Coach Blue. Um, I've smelled Coach Green. I will be getting that very soon as well. But um, Platinum was one I was very interested in because it kind of veered from the fresh take that the other the other uh, coach fragrances for men have and this one right here um, has a sharpness to it man it, it, it is there's a sharpness right at the top you get that spice from like the black pepper and and of course the pineapple as well um, it is it is it's earthy it is perfect for fall weather because it has just enough sweetness to it but not so sweet to where it's probably better worn in the winter time. This is perfect for the fall. This is a, a, a gorgeous fragrance that you can pretty much wear in any situation. It's very versatile. Uh, you have pineapple, black pepper, juniper berries, cashmere, sage, geranium, vanilla, leather, sandalwood, and patchouli. The patchouli gives it a little bit of creaminess along with that vanilla, uh, but the leather doesn't come out very strong, but you, 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 catch, you catch hints of it within the fragrance this fragrance is absolutely phenomenal i'm glad that i bought it i'm very glad that i bought it um, i didn't know what to expect i did see the fragrance notes when i decided i wanted to get it but the way that it comes together is so awesome so awesome and i truly believe that it is a perfect perfect fall fragrance and that would be coach platinum So the next fragrance that I have up, I was a bit skeptical about purchasing it, but um, I saw it for about $26 at a rack store and I said, you know what, why not? I'll just go ahead and give it a shot. If I don't like it, I can always gift it to someone, you know, things like that. But um, hey, I sprayed this. I absolutely enjoyed it. And I'm talking about it today for Great for the Fall. Kenneth Cole, RSVP. Like I said at the beginning, not a very expensive fragrance, but man, um, really good fragrance. Really, got, it has a a spicy fresh, uh, spicy fresh opening. It has pepper, grapefruit, lavender. It has that cedar. That cedar, you you smell that woodsiness right off the bat. You got orchid, iris, sandalwood, vetiver, cashmere, and patchouli. So another, another, you, you, I find that a lot of these fragrances that are really, really good for the fall and winter, you kind of run into some of the same notes. You, you run into a lot of patchouli, you run into a lot of vetera, um, and that's somewhat standard in, in, a, in, in some of these fragrances. So that actually gives it that, 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 uh, that, that smooth texture to it. And the vetera adds a bit of that smokiness, the sandalwood gives it a bit of creaminess, but it's that pepper and that grapefruit and that lavender right at the top that you get and it almost gives it a bit of a leathery type of uh feel to it but of course you know the cashmere woods actually gives it that 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 soft woods type of feel it is a very good fragrance i'm absolutely glad that i purchased this i'm glad that i went on and pulled the trigger on this because this is going to get some wears out of me i promise you that much but um hey See if you can get to a rack store, or I will find it and put a link in the description box so you can get it for yourself. And that would be Kenneth Cole, RSVP. The next fragrance that I have coming up is Woody, Musky, and Sweet. And it is a, well, I don't know if it's a direct clone of Parfums de Marley, but it gets you damn close. Parfums de Marley's Layton, and that would be Detour Noir. So, I heard a lot of hype about this fragrance. Uh, do like I said once I've said before, I do watch a lot of the guys in the fragrance community, and a lot of guys were talking about it. 
So I said, you know what, I want to give it a shot and um, see what I think about it. And absolutely fell in love with it the first time I sprayed it. Beautiful sprayer. Gorgeous scent. Gorgeous scent, man. I mean, this scent right here, and, and, it, and it comes across so sweet, light, and elegant at the same time. But you get a bit, little bit of the nuttiness from the almond. You got the jasmine. Cypress, amber, cedar, vanilla, musk, sandalwood. This fragrance to me is perfect for fall weather. Absolutely perfect for fall weather. Of course, it shines in the winter as well, but it's definitely great for fall weather on those days where you uh, can put on a hoodie or you can um, wear a sweatshirt and things of that nature. You're not quite wearing a coat or anything like that, but you're wearing clothes are getting a little bit thicker. You know, and this this fragrance will actually shine in that type of weather. Please don't pay attention to the bottle because the bottle is absolutely insane. But um, hell, I actually think it's pretty damn cool, truthfully. But um, you know what? Forget about the bottle and all of those things. The smell. The smell is what's going to get you. So um, once again, go out and get out there and try it. I will put a link in the description box so you guys can get your hands on Detour Noir for the fall. The next fragrance that I have up is one that I bought in the beginning of the summer. Um, it's it definitely a fall fragrance and I couldn't wait to wear it. So when it was a little bit cool last week, I got it on my skin, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. Thought it was an amazing fragrance and that's why I'm talking about it today. I think this would be perfect for the fall weather and that would be, guess, Womo. Focus. So. Amber, woody, spicy. Atomizer is not that great, people. I'm pretty sure you can see that. I'll try to give it one more spray. There it is. But the scent, the scent itself, it, of course, it, it's not a very expensive fragrance. It's not, a, I think it just came out not too long ago. But, um, man, it's actually really good fragrance. Um, you have cardamom, lavender, grapefruit, sage, saffron, geranium, amber, dark woodsy notes and benzoin there's a bit of sweetness to it but it's not overly sweet at all not even not even slightly it's more you catch more of the lavender in the fragrance i get a lot more of the lavender out of the fragrance and the cardamom the lavender cardamom combination gives it this this floral somewhat airy and um, slightly spicy type of fragrance it's it's very and, and that towards the back end of the fragrance of course as the dry down you get a lot of the a lot more of the uh woodsy notes the amber in the woods it is a pretty damn good fragrance for the fall season uh it smells extremely good guests did a really good job with this one this is a really good one i would uh see i'll see if i can find this one on discounters and i will put it in the description box so you guys can actually check it out for yourself if you can't if you if you don't want to get the big bottle get the small bottle this is the one this is the 1.7 ounce bottle i bought um because you know i wanted to just check it out and see what it is see how see how it was and um i'll be buying the big bottle because i believe this is big bottle worthy i'll be putting out a video like that too fragrances that i have in the 1.7 ounces that are big bottle worthy this would be one of them and that would be Guess one more. So for the last fragrance, I, I kind of want to paint a picture of this fragrance. Um, it's a warm, spicy, and ambery fragrance. Now, picture something warm and spicy and ambery. And you're on a boat and the night ocean air, which is pretty cool, cool air, catches the sillage of the fragrance that you are wearing and it engulfs the entire area around you and you got the, the the smell of the ocean the the cool nature of the night and then you have this beautiful warm ambery fragrance that's also somewhat airy and when you picture that then you should be picturing this Jose Del Puzo Golden Cedar Nights so this fragrance right here has such an elegance to it and such an elegance to it that it blew me away and it blew a lot of the people away on the boat when they actually got close to me. People 
so many people asked me what I was wearing because they said they had never smelt anything like this before. Um, this right here is beautiful air. You got you catch a lot of the cardamom at the top. You got coffee in this one. This is a gorgeous fragrance. There's coffee, cardamom, cinnamon, bergamot, praline, nutmeg, cedar, patchouli. You also have um, more cedar at the in, at the uh, base of it. Amber, vanilla, and musk. So you get a lot of woodsiness. You get a lot of woods, um, a, a good amount of amber and vanilla. You get a hint of that praline, but it it it, it gets so airy as 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 the the fragrance goes on through the night. But you catch hints of the sweet. You catch hints of the woody. You catch a lot of hints of the cardamom. The, a lot of the spiciness coming from that cinnamon. This fragrance was composed almost like a symphony because there was a symphony of smells going on with this fragrance. This fragrance is absolutely awesome. Once again, like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description box so you guys can check this out for yourself. This isn't, this isn't a fragrance that you wear. To me, this is a fragrance that you experience. And this was an absolutely great experience. And that would be Jose Del Puzo, Gold Cedar Night. Well, everyone, that is my time. Uh, I enjoyed making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it as well. Uh, do me a favor and tell me what uh, fragrances you will be wearing this coming fall. Uh, see if we wearing the same things. Give me some ideas for some other things for me to wear as well. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel because it helps the channel to grow. We've gotten a few more followers and I truly appreciate each and every person that follows me on this channel. And once again, you know the name? My name is Mr. Dearest Teddy. I am your fragrance sommelier. And over here, we do not do stink. So please, do not be a stink ass. Have a good evening.